Hello guys, hello world. I keep receiving a lot of messages and comments about studies at 42 school. Is it worth studying there? And primarily, does the school help in getting the job? Did it help me to get my first job in tech? Well, the short answer is yes and no. Even though I believe that the school has always had an indirect impact on my professional career, and sometimes even the obvious direct impact. I will share my experience a little bit later in this video. But at the same time, I just want to tell that getting into the school does not guarantee you to have a prosperous professional career in tech. Like you get into the school, you do nothing and <laughs> you somehow by a miracle, uh, become a genius. No, without putting your own efforts, without your hard work, the school can do nothing for you. So this was the short intro of this video. So let's dive deep into the topic. To give you a little bit of context, I started my study in a 42 campus in Moscow, in Russia. And there is a company called Sber or Sberbank, uh, who is the main sponsor of the school and uh, this company organizes two, three times per year, right now probably rarely, uh, a sort of a hiring process for students for their internships. For students who reach a certain level and is confident enough to, to start the, uh, the interview processes. In summer 2021, I was about to finish uh, the common program, the common school program, and uh, this is the time when almost everyone, like the majority of uh, 42 students, they start uh, searching for their first internships because the internship is a part of the program. Um, and after the main program, you're kind of confident enough to, <laughs> to start your first interviews. And you're kind of have enough skills to to do your first internship. So luckily, Sber is their bank. Uh, they, as usual in summer, they organize the, the same program. And this program, the idea is that you apply, you send your CV, and then they send you back a test, a technical test uh, on uh, your knowledge in the programming language. I did one in Java. Um, and I, depending on the results, I passed it successfully. Depending on the results, they call you back or not. And if it was positive, so they call you back and you collect some documents and you send your CV and they start um, giving, showing your CV to different teams. And if the team liked your resume, they call you back, schedule an interview and you pass the interview. If it went well, they hire you. <laughs> for the internship. I want to be really detailed in here because I had many, not many, some videos on this topic, how I searched for, how I found the internship, how I saw the process. I'll put the link um, in the description of this video, of the playlist of this videos, if you're interested. Long story short, I got my, the team liked my CV. I successfully passed the interview. I got hired. And so that's how I got my first internship in tech. And actually, after finishing the internship, the team asked me if I want to continue working with them and they um, gave me the offer of a, a full-time job as a software developer there. And I was super happy. <laughs> in this particular case, did the school help me? Well, um, if not that program, it would be more difficult to to, you know, to <laughs> knock at the doors of the HRs and say, hey, could you please show me CV at the team? Can I have the interview? Uh, so it would be more difficult without any experience uh, in tech industry, uh, without, you know, uh, an educational, a proper educational institute like a uh, university of a computer science degree program, you know. But at the same time, it was me who wrote a CV who prepared for interviews, who successfully passed the interviews, and not everybody who applied for this program, they succeeded. Uh, some of the students, they, they, were not, they were just not lucky <laughs> enough. 
some of the students they didn't have enough knowledge or enough experience um, so technically they didn't suit um, into they, they were not ready to work so this is my story does anyone like you know get the same jobs at Sberbank of course not uh, school organizers and organized a lot of events with the uh, hiring managers of other companies so you could easily get to know other companies you could apply for the internship there um, and I know that the school is currently searching for many opportunities with other companies and have more you know not sponsors but partners who would love to to get their students um, as their employees and also like I started studying in the COVID era we had some we had to start studying online and then there were many restrictions uh, so big events were not organized and I know that now I see by the Instagram that they have a lot of you know, hack live hackathons, live uh, sessions with uh, experts and other companies. So, which is really, really good. That's like you know, I regret somehow that <laughs> I started studying in COVID because now guys they have more sort of um, experiences. One other point to mention that the school in Moscow was quite new, um, and not many companies were aware of uh, the school. Um, now I think it's getting more and more popular and also like <laughs> I remember I asked my colleagues do you hear about 42 school or 20 school 21 uh, how they call it in Moscow and um, the, my colleagues who interviewed me they didn't know so I had to explain a little bit of a system of uh, how did I study program and etc but um, some of the colleagues they were aware of the school and i was like oh, wow <laughs> super cool um so i think the same would be the situation in other countries where the campuses are quite new so it takes some time for the country to you know to promote the school to uh, for that the school has the same good reputation as it has in paris for example because in paris you ask but not, not any Parisian, but people who are kind of in tech and almost everyone would say, yeah, I know 42. So this is a cool transition to 42 in Paris. <laughs> now, as you might know, if you follow me for a long time, uh, after finishing my first internship, I contacted 42 and asked if I could transfer my profile uh, to the 42 Paris and continue my studies there and uh, they said yes <laughs> and uh, it was possible so in February I moved to Paris and I, uh, I'm still so happy about that right now in Paris Be because I did my first job in tech in Moscow and um, so I didn't have so much experience real experience in Paris to say like how in Paris um, do they help students to get their jobs or not but um, as far as what I've heard from other students and what I saw like um, by emails that I got by all of the resources that schools gives you I feel like it's even more developed uh, than in Moscow, first of all, because the school is more recognized. It has much more partnerships with other companies who organizes like, you know, uh, who organizes different events, um, aiming at hiring students from 42. Uh, we also have an intro in your intro profile. It's the sort of a school platform so you have a section where uh, the list of the companies with job openings who's currently like the sort of a partners uh, or willing to hire 42 students which is pretty really really cool um, I know I heard about many hackathons uh, which happened to be at 42 Paris where you can really like you know stand out or Mm, improve your skills you know have cool experience and probably get your job thanks to hackathons 
Also, there are many different organizations, clubs uh, of for teacher students who kind of help you to to get your job, uh, send you opportunities, and there is a startup club. And I also saw in some channels and uh, chats of in Slack of forty two that uh, forty two students who are currently in. Uh, some companies they were sending the job opportunities opening positions that they have so this is a cool community that always gives you you know you can look at <laughs> you can look there there and there it's everywhere and so but it's up to you you know to apply to prepare for interviews to show your motivations to improve your skills and so on and so forth but I believe that the environment that you have there like pushes you to 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 like not easily but very smoothly get a job get your internship and i think that the same kind of atmosphere is in all compasses of 42 if not let me know what's wrong in the comment and to conclude just yeah, I feel like the school gives you lots of opportunities and it up, it's and it's up to you to use them or not. A little bit of my personal experience here, uh, because I moved to Paris and I continued my work uh, remotely, um, I didn't even like think about in the nearest future to search for the job in Paris. I had good salary, I had a lot of you know, things to improve in my current position, um, things to get to know. So I, I, I didn't want, you know, to to quit so quickly, but the circumstances, the war in Ukraine, um, like led to the, led to the fact that I couldn't continue to work remotely for a Russian company. So I had to resign, I had to quit, and that means that I needed money, so I had to search for a new job in France. By the way, I'm currently sharing, still sharing this experience, even though I got a job in April, it's October now, <laughs> the middle of October, but um, I still keep sharing some practical information and my personal experience in getting the job here in France. Um, this is on Instagram by hashtag job in France underscore coding girl. So check it out. I have so far four posts on this topic, but if you want me to fill a proper video on this topic, let me know in the comment. So did 42 school help me to find my first tech job in France? Well, indirectly, yes, because thanks to 42, I had a community of friends who actually some of them, they referred me to, to the companies that they currently worked or they would give me advice or they would send me some platforms that they used in finding their jobs. So that's how Hotel Acquisition Manager of Content Square <laughs> reached me out and I finally got a job there. But did I have a guarantee to be hired because I'm a 42 student? Of course not. In some companies, I was rejected because I didn't fit the role or either didn't have enough skills for them or either I failed the test. So 42, <laughs> the 42 name doesn't give you a sort of a green light for each company you want to enter. Hallelujah. And honestly, my colleagues were really surprised that I told them that I'm a 42, like, a month or two months after working there so when they were conducting interview with with me they i don't know like they were not attentive enough or they just forgot after that that i was from 42 and yeah they they the most important thing for them was not the name of the school it was which skills do i have uh, am i willing like do i have enough motivation to work with them how did I pass the test, etc. So the priority was my knowledge and skills, not the 42 name. To conclude, I would like to say many, many thanks to 42 School and 
Fortitude School campuses because I studied in School 21, which is the campus of Fortitude in Moscow. Many, many th thanks to the school for giving me a lot of opportunities for, you know, for the program itself, because I learned a lot by doing projects and most of all for the community I had in Moscow and still have it virtually and the community that I have here in France. Because not, not only I learned programming there, I also got connected with so many smart, inspiring people who made me progress, people who still motivate me to grow personally and professionally. So it's up to you to take best practices from people around you, best opportunities from the school, or just complain and say that school does nothing and gives nothing. Thank you very much for watching this video and à la prochaine. Bisous.